we have these mass murders living and profiting among us without calling them out for who they really are. The oligarchs of the oil and gas are the only ones that feel themselves above the natural law, the fools. My colonized name is Casey Camp Hornick. Judy is my true name. I'm a Ponca. I live in the occupied territory of Oklahoma. As for who I am is the summation of the ancestors that came before me and the gifted companion, mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother of the seven generations to come a caretaker of Mother Earth, a sun dancer, a daughter, a sister, an auntie. Over here is an area that my family has been part of since the 1880s. My grandpa and his folks and many others walked the 700 miles down here, not by choice. One in three of us died. This is where the blood of my people are. As far as where we live here in, in this particular territory, after forest removal, there was a series of events that was set in place by the federal government of the United States that allowed for what they call environmental stressors to happen. This whole area was 100% Ponca at one time. When the fracking started, the fumes in the area around here were so bad that it was making people have headaches and be very sick. That's an injection site right there. Another injection well site. Another injection well site right there. So right now we've seen three within a quarter of a mile. Every one of these tank batteries that you see, and there's hundreds of them, leak approximately 3% per month. Tens of thousands of gallons of either crude or refined oil or gas that goes directly into the groundwater. Even though the smallpox blankets are not being handed out to directly kill us, we're still being killed by environmental genocide, by this extractive industry, poisoning of the waters, the air and the earth, and consequently the poisoning of our people. So a train bomb, they're full of crude oil, refined oil, natural gas, chemical warfare gas, and fracking fluids. And so every car could wipe a small city off the map.